and he's in the Washington Bureau. They call it the killer Kern. Today's news, today's news. California, where there have been flash floods during the strong storm. There's also flooding in a Northern California arbor agricultural community, famous for its strawberry crop. And on the Golden State Central Coast, more than 50 people have been rescued. This man was stranded by a washed out road in Santa Cruz. Raining cats and dogs, man. And uh, so we got a, a message saying the road's been washed out. And came to check it out and it's, it's pretty wild. Uh. At the Weather Channel, Kelly Cass says there's more to come. Another five to eight inches of rain on the way, especially for the foothills of the High Sierra, and even coastal locations. We're talking about several inches of rain over the next couple of days. Worries in the financial community over the collapse of the biggest bank since 2008. CBS's Bradley Blackburn. The sudden collapse of Silicon Valley Bank had tech CEOs and founders standing outside bank branches looking for answers about their funds. I'm pretty concerned. If you're all here and things are locked up, it's very difficult to operate your company. The country's 16th largest bank with more than $200 billion in assets was shut down by regulators yesterday due to inadequate liquidity and insolvency. The bank was squeezed by rising interest rates and shrinking deposits from tech clients. In Paris, angry demonstrations over an unpopular pension reform plan. As the unions continue to protest at planned pension reforms, one of the parliamentarians involved in drawing them up says she had expected opposition, but not on this scale. What surprised me was the outreach in uh, small and medium cities and also in uh, constituencies which are not necessarily heavily unionized. Astrid panosian Bouvet remains confident the reforms package will become law despite the protests. Elaine Cobb, CBS News, Paris. A great day for American skiing legend Michaela Schifrin. CBSSports.com's Ben Jacobs. The Schifrin triumphed in the slalom in Sweden and was largely speechless afterwards even though we saw the record coming because on Friday she had equaled the tally, she'd got to 86 wins and then to add one extra and break the record a day later was really quite incredible. Now to space. All hooks open. A SpaceX Dragon capsule carrying five astronauts from NASA undocked from the International Space Station overnight. The crew has spent more than five months in space and their ride had been twice delayed due to weather. Splashdown is expected around 9 p.m. Eastern tonight. This is CBS News. Nobody should have to pay for one-size-fits-all insurance coverage. Liberty Mutual customizes your car. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.